in statistics and econometrics, an augmented ICIO Euro Fuller test is a test for a unit root in a time series sample. It is an augmented version of the Dicchio Euro Fuller test for a larger and more complicated set of time series models. The augmented Dicchio Euro Fuller statistic, used in the test, is a negative number. The more negative it is, the stronger the rejection of the hypothesis that there is a unit root at some level of confidence. Testing procedure The testing procedure for the ADF test is the same as for the Dicchio Euro Fuller test, but it is applied to the model. Where is a constant, the coefficient on a time trend and the lag order of the autoregressive process? Imposing the constraints and corresponds to modeling a random walk and using the constraint corresponds to modeling a random walk with a drift. Consequently, there are three main versions of the test, analogous to the ones discussed on Dicchio Euro Fuller test, by including lags of the order P. The ADF formulation allows for higher order autoregressive processes. This means that the lag length p has to be determined when applying the test. One possible approach is to test down from high orders and examine the t-values on coefficients. An alternative approach is to examine information criteria such as the archaic information criterion, Bayesian information criterion or the Hamnani Euroquin information criterion. The unit root test is then carried out under the null hypothesis against the alternative hypothesis of once a value for the test statistic. Is computed, it can be compared to the relevant critical value for the Dicchio Euro Fuller test. If the test statistic is less than the critical value, then the null hypothesis of is rejected and no unit root is present. Intuition The intuition behind the test is that if the series is not integrated, then the lag level of the series will provide no relevant information in predicting the change in besides the one obtained in the lag changes. In that case, the null hypothesis is not rejected. Examples, a model that includes a constant and a time trend is estimated using sample of 50 observations and yields the statistic of a 4.57. This is more negative than the tabulated critical value of a 3.50, so at the 95% level the null hypothesis of a unit root will be rejected. Alternatives, there are alternative unit root tests such as the Phillips a Euro Perrin test or the ADF GLS procedure developed by Elliott. Rothenberg and Stock. Implementations in statistics packages, in R, the TSERIS package includes an ADF test function. CTL includes the augmented ICIO Euro Fuller test. In MATLAB, the ADFDIST function is part of the Econometrics Toolbox, and a free version is available as part of the Spatial Econometrics Toolbox, in SAS, PROCARIMA can perform ADF tests. In Starter, the Fuller command is used for ADF tests. In EViews, the augmented ICI Fuller is available under unit root test. In Python, the AdFuller function is available in the stats models package. In Java, the augmented Dicky Fuller class is included in Suanxu available under the com numerical method Suanxu stats test time series ADF package. See also, Kwiatkowski a Euro Phillips a Euro Schmta Euro Shin test. References. Green, W. H. Econometric Analysis. New Jersey, Prentice Hall. ISBN A 0 13 066189 9. Said, S. E. Dickey, D. A. Testing for Unit Roots in Autoregressive Moving Average Models of Unknown Order. Biometrica 71, 599 Euro 607 DOI. 10.109371.3.599A